Now we have two area teams that are ranked across the state of Michigan for high school football. Joannesburg Lewiston still sits at number seven in Division Eight, and the other team that got added onto this week's list is the Oscoda Owls. Right now they are ranked ninth in Division Seven, but with this Owls team, they have accomplished something that no other team has done this season. Take a look. Whenever Oscoda scores a touchdown on their home field, this bell goes off. And you hear that bell a lot because they are averaging over 54 points per game on offense. However, it's their defense that sets the tone week in and week out. We got 11 players flying around and uh, the other thing is we're not hiding any players. You know, we're 11 strong every snap and uh, doesn't matter where the ball goes, we're confident right now. In fact, this Owls defense hasn't allowed any points to their opponents this season. No other high school football team in the state of Michigan has accomplished this milestone. I give a lot of credit to all of us making good tackles and uh, gang tackling, uh, getting low, and just pursuing the ball. We work as a team to get to the ball, and we've been holding teams up to zero every game, so they haven't got much yards on defense either. And the total yards they've allowed in their first five games is nearly 400 yards, which is an average of 80 yards per game. Another thing to point out about this Owls defense is that they've only allowed three red zone appearances to their opponents, which is where I'm standing. So most of the times for these opponents, they're either turning the ball over on downs or they're putting it away. Overall, defensive coordinator Tucker Whitley has a lot of confidence with this defense as they get closer and closer to the postseason. We've played some great games so far and we look forward to the challenge that the playoffs spring and that this week will bring as well. Uh, we're looking forward to getting after it. By the way, that was a 30-yard punt in my stand-up in case you were wondering. This Friday, Oscoda will look to close out the regular season down in Hoenn Lake as they will take on the Bobcats.